What's up you guys, Josh here with the Go Kalkin channel. And today we are gonna be putting in the faster gears for this Traxxas Bandit. So it didn't take us long before we got to this point. We ran it stock, we ran it with the RPM A-arms and the wheelie bar and the new tires. And now we're gonna be switching out the gear for the rear. So. Let's go ahead and get that part set on the table and we'll get started with taking this thing apart. All right, so the car comes with this optional gear and I'm trying to see without taking it out. The bandit, looks like it's the 28 tooth that it comes with. We bought a 35 tooth gear, so this is Allegedly the uh, fastest gearing option um, that will fit the motor stock. And I've also bought this this little kit that's supposed to make lining it up the right way, but I don't believe any of these are going to be usable for this 35 to pinion. We'll see. Let's go ahead and get this taken apart. As far as I know, we're going to have to do this uh, gear mesh manually. Um, and it looks like I'm going to have to take this wheelie bar and motor cover off. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Set that up there. I was running it a bit in the last video and I could tell that as it sits right here on the this stock gearing and the 3S battery, it's already my fastest RC. And now with this speed gear, it's just gonna be crazy. Yes, this is my obviously first time getting in here. So that's 26 tooth from stock, moving up to a, a 35. That one's for the top. Looks like they're the same anyways. Move this motor back. And there we go. So that was it. Stock setup, stock mesh. All right, so after doing just a little bit of research, it looks like there's uh, not an adapter, or at least none of these will work, um, and setting the mesh manually might be uh, the best way anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and leave. This was the stock uh, gear set uh, little tool. We're gonna just put the motor in without that, and we're gonna get the top motor mount in there and get that screwed down most of the way okay I'm gonna loosen it up just a bit so I can still move it and then we'll get the bottom one in here all right cool so we can still pivot that and now here I'm just gonna line this up the best that I can. Okay. And I'm just going to tighten the motor down. It's not obviously perfect mesh or anything like that right now. This is just to keep that pinion from moving. Uh, moving easily, rather, while I get the grub screw in there. Okay, so let me get a little bit of Loctite. Sure, not cross threading. Should go in nice and smooth. We 
which it is. Perfect. All right, we're gonna just double check one more time. Okay. So obviously right now that's way too tight of a fit, but we wanted to get that the forward and back position lined up correctly before moving on. All right, so now that that's on there, we're gonna loosen the motor up from the bottom. Okay, and allow it to pivot away. So you guys should be able to see right in here, that mesh. What we're looking for is as we set mesh, we push the motor, we're pivoting the motor towards that gear. We're listening to that tick, right? So as we're moving the spur forward and back, and, and we're not moving it so that we're moving the pinion, All right? So see the pinion moving? We just wanna move the spur enough where we're, we're hearing that tick. And it's kinda of just a feel thing. But right now, we've got too much play between the gears. but we don't want to push it together so much where the uh, where we're not hearing the tick anymore. So I'm going to rotate the motor in. Okay. It's a little tighter. And what I'm doing here is I'm just I'm putting my finger on the back end where this uh, screw is because that's where it's pivoting the top one stays in place and I'm just pushing it forward ever so slightly it's pretty good but we still have a little bit of play okay be just a little bit too tight right there okay all right so what I'm gonna do here is just rotate uh, the motor and the spur all right so and what I'm doing is I'm checking for high and low spots Okay, so um, with the the plastic uh, and, and even the metal ones, they're not perfectly circular. Um, so what, what you end up with is if you set the mesh in one spot, um, but you don't check other spots, you may run into a high spot where it's too tight and then you're gonna end up stripping uh, in this case, the plastic side. So, I think that's all around still a little too loose. Okay. All right, good. And I'm, I'm, what I'm listening for is that little bit of a tick. So it's not binded at all.
I'm listening for the tick without moving this pinion. So we still have it there. All right, see that? There's no tick here. This is too tight. So this is a high spot. So I'm gonna back this up a bit. Now we've got a tick. So what that's gonna happen, what's that gonna result in is this. The, one, the spots we already checked, where it was nice and close but still had a tick, you're gonna have a little bit of a louder tick and not as tight, tight of a mesh. But we wanna set our mesh to the highest point because we don't wanna strip that out. So that's pretty tight there, but still here in a click. Still good here. Good. And this may take a while, but you just, you wanna be able to check it all the way around. See like that, still pretty, it's a little bit loose, but we wanna set it to that, that highest point like I mentioned. So I'm gonna go through here and basically what you guys will wanna do is do the same and then when you are happy with the mesh, tighten the motor screws all the way down and then go around and check it one more time because as you go and tighten that, you might torque and twist that motor just a little bit. Um, this is a very important process. If you go through this now, um, <laughs> your gears are thank you. Uh, later so let me finish this up and i'll be right back all right you guys so i've went in checked every single one tightened the motor down checked it again i think we're good so let's go ahead and reinstall this so the other thing you can do um and i did this just to check the mesh um after i had done it manually is um, you can either put a piece of paper in between those two gears and push them together as hard as you can and then tighten it down and then see if you can back this the, that, that piece of paper up. Um, I don't really like doing that method. I mean, it's okay for you know somebody who uh, just wants to do something real quick and it's for a basher and the gears are going to be plenty strong anyways and it's not going to be for something as technical as, as a, a, you know, a drag race or anything, but um, you can go back in after you set the gear mesh manually and just see if a, a piece of paper will run in between those gears while you're turning it. And, and it did perfectly. So um, that just kind of confirmed or reassured me that the gear mesh was set about as good as I can, I can set it myself. So um, this is the stock um, spacer for the motor. So I'm going to just put that and the grub screw and the stock gear all in one uh, baggie like this. This is how I kind of store all of my parts, um, but it's gonna be in its own baggie, so I'm not mixing it up with, like for this, for example, this uh, optional speed gear that's included with the truck or any of these other little spacers. I'll keep those separate um, in case I ever wanna just uh, convert the dragster back to stock, but that's not the purpose of this thing anyways. This thing is meant to go fast, at least for my build. Anyways, that's it for right now, um, at least for today. Again, this is all gonna be all part of the same video. I'm gonna test this out uh, and you guys will be able to listen to it as well. And uh, you guys will see in a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and say bye to you now. Uh, hopefully you guys have a great week. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. All right, so. I knew I said I'd wait until it wasn't raining out to really test this after the gear, the high speed gear was installed, but this is just to test to see if the mesh ended up okay. It sounds good, uh, but you're really not going to know unless you run it. So that is the goal of the rest of this video. Just run it 
and make sure we're not going to run into any issues. All right, remote's on. Yep. Turn this on. Okay. All right, sounds good. It's pretty quick. <clears throat> <laughs> Definitely gonna need a, a longer straightaway. <laughs> this thing is great. <laughs> Spun out a little bit. Seems to be okay. It is very fast. Yeah, heat sink's not even hot, so didn't run it long enough for it to really be impacted by the speed gear. So anyways, there we go. Not too shabby. So <clears throat> I wasn't really able to hit full throttle um, for more than just a split second, but it wasn't anywhere near its top speed for sure. So I guess my next step is to really find a place to uh, really let this thing uh, stretch its legs, so to speak. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video where we can really uh, put this thing through its paces. All right, take care.